Hello everyone, welcome back to HBW TV. So today we have invited a very important and experienced guest today in our studio. So let us all welcome Dr. Lee Sing Wei. Hi. Hi Doctor. Thank you for inviting me for today. So Doctor, I heard that you have 26 years of practice throughout your whole GP practice. So would you mind sharing with us what are your area of interest throughout your practice? Yeah, I practice uh, medicine for 26 years. My special interest in preventive medicine, especially in men's and women's health and aesthetic. We have commonly heard about women's menopause, right? Yeah. So are there like menopause for men too? Yes, there's so-called this notorious andropause. But this andropause, there are many names for andropause. They may call it androgen deficiency syndrome. To be more specific, specific is a testosterone deficiency syndrome. So, can you, do you mind tell us about what is the syndromes for this TDS, testosterone deficiency syndrome, right? Okay, this very difficult to pronounce TDS, we make it TDS. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> because it's, uh, let's say you can see them, they have mood swing, they got uh, loss in the energy level, they, are, they got increase in the waistline, and then they are moody, they are very grumpy, sometimes uh, they can end up in other medical diseases. So, do we have a starting age for this TDS? No, actually now, because of, I don't know why, because now it's getting younger and younger, but basically for men, when they reach 30 years old, their hormonal level, their testosterone level will be going on a plateau and going declining. By the time they reach 40 to 60, they are going downhill. So usually it's during the age that they retire. So once they are retired, sometimes they, th they think of, oh, because of retirement, they go back, they become so grumpy. Actually, no. It's because of the hormonal level is causing the problem. So what preventions can men in their 30 to delay this TDS? Usually, uh, those who is having this problem, they won't come in, they tell you that it's an uh, androgen problem. They are telling that, ah, doctor, recently I'm very tired, I got no energy, I got no sex desire, I got no libido at all, and then uh, all the time I just want to go back and sleep. So at that time, we'll, it's the time that we will tell the patient, okay, now we do a screening for you, maybe it's a general screening, and then we add serum testosterone level, see the whether, whether the level is very low. So if they are low level, then we, will, we, will, we are planning for them to do a re hormone replacement therapy. So for this treatment, um, could you elaborate more about what is it for this treatment? What is the treatment here? Okay, it's not everybody is uh, fit for the treatment. For those people who is prostatic, having a prostatic cancer, so we'll be very uh, uh, careful with them. So usually we'll not uh, giving this type of treatment to them. For those who is very low level, usually we'll do some uh, uh, examination, like we have to check their uh, PSA level, is a prostate antigen, uh, cancer antigen level. We'll do a digital rectal examination to check their prostate, whether the prostate is enlarged or not. So if the level, everything is normal, if the level is low, so we will suggest to them, maybe you need uh, hormone replacement therapy. So let's say a man in their 50s have this TDS, what treatment would you give, advise him to take? So there, are, there are many modalities. You can either take on the oral testosterone capsule or even you can have some injection, weekly injection or three monthly depot injection or sometimes even those people who are scared of needle, they can use the, the gel, the testosterone gel apply on the tummy every day but usually it still depends on the patient. But on averagely, how long does this treatment needs for them to, you know, recover back their testosterone level? Oh, okay, we have to regular check their level, and then we have to regular monitor the liver function. We have to monitor the PSA level. We have to uh, manage uh, to check the hematocrit level also. So it's not like a one one shot treatment. No, yeah, this depends. You need Let's say, let's say it's a, it's a, it's a depot, every, we'll do it every three months. Let's say with those uh, with uh, weekly injection, we have to monitor the level also. 
but normally how long does the treatment take to fully recover a man's testosterone level? It depend, still depends on uh, personal. Indiv yeah, personal individual. But after the treatment, sometimes those people who have early diabetes or they have got central obesity, usually we I'll advise them to go on exercise, then very, uh, uh, with very good result. Maybe sometimes the uh, sugar level is good, their lipids level become better, and then they feel younger, or not only outside from the youthful look, but generally they feel more energetic. So what are the benefits of taking on this treatment? Because men could just say, oh, it's fine, I don't need this treatment, right? So what are the benefits for them to, to take on this treatment? Actually, uh, for menopause, everybody is uh, for for women menopause. The women is accept, accepting this hormone replacement therapy, but for the men, usually they try to act macho. They deny they're having this problem. Uh, with the treatment, actually, you can be much younger. Not only from the look, it's from the inside out. So that's the benefits, right? We have yes, to yeah. feel feel healthy inside and out, look yes. healthy inside and yes. out, right? So, what other advice would you give to men that age? Instead of coming out for treatments, what are their, their daily intake? Can, they, can it help? Oh, usually when they're facing this type of problem, it's better to see a doctor so that we can screen, we can see whether they have any other problem, diabetic, they have any uh, lipid high in the lipid level. It's not only testosterone. So usually it's better for them to do a yearly checkup and then to that's what we plan for the preventive medicine because they may they maybe they may miss out a lot of things in their health. So I hope this video really helps everyone in front of the camera and brings new information to everyone. So thank you everyone for watching and please do tune in for more HBW TV.